three years ago, unfortunately, we found out he had osteosarcoma. And we found out that he developed a golf ball-sized tumor in his lung. And we found that Yale was having a trial. They did an x-ray, and they said the tumor's gone. Cody is now 12 years old. He's a Carolina Shepherd. We rescued him when he was six months old. And he's just a great dog. He's very friendly. Uh, everybody meets him. Like three years ago, unfortunately, we found out he had osteosarcoma when he started limping around. We took him to our regular vet and they did an x-ray and they found that um, most of uh, the bone in his leg was eaten through from the mm -hmm. cancer. And that's why he was limping. But otherwise, you wouldn't even have known because he was just himself. He was just limping a little bit but he was still going on walks, still running it, wanted to go into truck rides. So we did an amputation and I believe it was six rounds of chemo. We decided to take him for a checkup again to see how he was doing. And we found out that he had developed a golf ball sized tumor in his lung. It was only eight months after he finished chemo that okay. the, the tumor was there. So we really didn't know what to do about it. So we started searching around online and went to UPenn and reached out to them, but he'd already had amputation. So he wasn't eligible for their trial. And we found somehow, I can't even remember how, we found that um, Yale was having a trial up in Connecticut. We live in South Jersey, so it's about three and a half hours from us. So we hopped in the truck, made an appointment and took Cody up there. They did some x-rays on him and you checked him out and everything, and they gave him the vaccine. And then we had to go back two weeks after that and get another vaccine. That was it. I mean, we weren't expecting much. We didn't know, but at least we figured he had a chance mm -hmm. at something. He did fine. He had no side effects, nothing. I mean, he also handled chemo very well, but no, he, from the vaccine, he had no side effects at all. It was funny because we're, we're just, we're not really sure what to do. Even the doctor that gave us the vaccine, Dr. Post, told us, he says, you know, we're not going to cure your dog, unfortunately, because we're not really sure what's going to happen, but, you know, don't expect a cure. And so we were like, listen, we just want to give him a chance because there's no other option. So all of a sudden, like, time goes by, this was in May, and then around December, I kind of noticed, it sounds strange to say, but, you know, I noticed Cody was still here and still well, you know, like I had no coughs. I kept looking for here and starting to hear the cough to know it spread or whatever the symptoms. And I noticed he's still, it sounds funny, but he's still with us. So I was like, you know, let's take him back up there. So we hopped in a truck. We made a point. We went back to VCC. They did an x-ray and they said the tumor's gone. We got it in May and it was in December when we went back. So seven, eight months. That is so he received another booster shot when we were there. Mm -hmm. And uh, up until, um, you know, just recently, he was, he was doing really well. I mean, mm -hmm. a normal 12-year-old dog would have is what hip dysplasia and that. But, you know, it's just happy to luck yourself until we found out. Honestly, I didn't have too much hope for the vaccine. I didn't think. I was figuring maybe you'll get a couple months because our, our local vet wasn't too enthusiastic about uh, vaccines or anything, you know. But you know, we feel it's worth a shot, you know to do it but no we didn't we didn't give him anything just the normal whatever he was doing he did really well like he's still doing well he's still the same the thing that's bothering him most right now that's obvious is his hip displacement that's bothering what happened as soon as we got the results i was on all these groups on facebook for osteosarcoma bone cancer you know and um, as soon as we came back i started putting it all out there like listen check out this vaccine at the uh, BCC Hope in, in Connecticut. I, I mean, my dog just came back with these incredible results. One of the ladies that uh, found it, a saw, we were chatting about it, her dog had it. And um, she said, listen, why don't you start a group? Because I was answering all these, these messages I was getting from people. And she said, just start a group. Yeah. And so I said, well, that's good. She actually started it. And then, you know, I hopped on it with her. Um, unfortunately, her dog did get the vaccine and it did pass away. I think there's over 1,200 people that have joined it. I mean, you know, do you still hear, unfortunately, some, you know, stories that the uh, pups don't make it, but there are some success stories that are, are out there that people I see posting. It's a good place. And I like, again, you know, I think most people, when they have a dog with osteosarcoma or any cancer that's fatal, as you want to at least have a chance, something, you know, give him a shot, maybe getting cured. And he had surgery roughly six or seven weeks ago. He wasn't feeling good. We came home. We knew there was something wrong with him. He wasn't really moving. We took him to emergency vet and then we took him to their main hospital and they found uh, blood in his abdomen. So they assumed that it was probably some type of cancer. 
So we had surgery done uh, the day after that. They found the uh, nodules on his liver and one of them was bleeding. And they were able to stop the bleeding and remove the nodule. They sent the, the tumor out for a biopsy and it's a uh, hemangiosarcoma. So I got in touch with Mark and I explained to him what happened and said, listen, why don't we get a blood draw from him? I'll send you a booster. And then a few weeks later, we'll give another blood draw and send us and we'll see what's going on as far as uh, his uh, antibodies. He did that and I just sent it out two days ago. So he um, says he's going to check it right away and uh, probably got it today. He's going to let us know. Kind of hoping that maybe he'll get another uh, positive result from the vaccine again. Yes, he's taking the YB takes that. We opted not to do chemo just because an oncologist didn't seem like it was worth it. They didn't know if some chemo would work. Other chemo was probably give two to three months more survival and the rain, and it was very expensive. And we'd already honestly spent a, a lot of money, Cody. So we figured we'll go with the vaccine again, the booster shot and uh, the YB and hope for the best, you know. And you now so far, I mean, he's doing very well. With this cancer, I know it's, it's hard to tell. Usually not a good outcome, but we'll see. I have five dogs, Here's Cody now. He's looking for the chicken, as you can see, but... He is doing well. I mean, honestly, he's still it's the same dog. He wants to go for walks, even though I limit that because of his uh, hip dysplasia. He loves treats. He, he you know, he he still wants. He'll go sit on the front lawn all day if I let him. Just watching other dogs go by. He's still a great dog. And I have to thank Yale for that for giving us the extra time. We're very fortunate. Like I said on our site on Facebook, there are still people that post. You know that their dog didn't make it. We're very fortunate. But I, honestly, I think even when I when I read a lot of people's posts on there, most of them are just like, you know what? I would do it all again anyway, just because it, something has to be done. You know, and being in this trial helps future dogs. Dogs, animals, it's and maybe humans eventually it's it's worth it.